hello friends welcome to our youtube channel friends today in this video we are going to see some of the most common questions in pharmacovigilance interview so this will help boost your interview preparation and give you the basic idea such such that what kind of questions will be asked during pharmacovigilance interview this is these are especially basic questions not an advanced questions for pharmacovigilance interview so let's get started and before that if you're a new visitor definitely subscribe to our channel for regular updates regarding pharmacy and life sciences so let us see the first question the basic question what is pharmacovigilance you all know right pharmacovigilance which is a science of collecting monitoring research Searching, assessing and evaluating information from the healthcare providers and patients on the adverse effects of medications, biological products, herbalism and traditional medicines. So this is the basic definition. You need to remember this. So in order to have what is pharmacovigilance, the idea. The next question is what is an adverse drug event? So any unwanted medical occurrence in a patient or clinical investigation subset administered with a pharmaceutical product and which does not necessarily have to have a causal relationship with this treatment. So by this definition we clearly understand that adverse drug event does not have any relationship with the treatment. May and mean I mean may not uh, definitely have a causal relationship with this treatment. So these are the two definitions and the next thing is what is the minimum criteria required for a valid case according to World Health Organization. So the minimum criteria is it should have the case should have an identifiable reporter, identifiable patient, a suspect product and adverse drug event. So these four are required for a valid case according to World Health Organization. And the next question is when do you consider an event to be serious? Uh, any event is associated with any of the following conditions like death, life threatening, hospitalization, prolongation of hospitalization, disability and medically significant. So the next thing is what is PubMed? This is a good literature resource. Uh, you all know that abstracts are available for free. You all remember right during our studies we search in PubMed for any of the kind of literature we are searching for either medicinal chemistry or any other things. So these are the three other definitions. Uh, so let us go to the next thing, process in pharmacovigilance. So what is the process in pharmacovigilance? The interviewer may ask you the question, explain the process in pharmacovigilance or explain in detail. Then you must explain the following. Pharmacovigilance process involves collection and recording of adverse events or adverse drug reactions, causality assessment and analysis of adverse drug reactions collate and code in the database, then computing of risk benefit and suggesting any regulatory action if required and communication of for safe use of drugs among the stakeholders. The next thing is describe the term formulary. So formulary is nothing but you all know listing of medicinal drugs with their uses, methods of administration, available doses, doses forms, side effects etc sometimes including their formulas so every hospital have their own formulary so the next question is essential medicines you all know about essential medicines medicines which are needed for the primary needs next question is generic products that you all know about generic product right a generic product is nothing but a original product after the expiry of patent which is used by others other than the manufacturer i mean which is marketed by companies other than the one having the license after the expiry of patent. Next the harm, the nature and extent of actual damage that could be caused by a drug not to be confused with risk. Okay, Nature and extent of actual damage that can be caused by a drug is called harm. Next incidence, the number of new cases of an outcome which develop over a defined period in a defined population at risk. Incidence is nothing but the chance of a or uh, have new cases of an outcome which would develop over a defined period in a defined population at risk. So these are the three definitions about generic product, harm and incident. The next thing is individual case safety report. What is individual case safety report? Mostly you may be asked this question. This in nothing but a report that contains information which describes a suspected ADR related to the administration of one or more medicinal products to an individual patient. So the term individual uh, defines that it is about individual patient. What is MEDRA? MEDRA is a medical dictionary for regulatory activities. 
the who adverse reactions terminology is now mapped to madra next member countries the member countries refers to in pharmacovigilance the countries which comply with the criteria and have joined the world health organization program for international drug monitoring so the member countries are those who are participating in who international drug monitoring program so these are the three other definitions so by by now we have completed 14 questions the next thing is medical error an unintended act or the one that does not achieve its intended outcomes so error is nothing but uh, it may be by anyone either by of omission or commission national pharmacovigilance centers so in india also we are having national pharmacovigilance centers the organizations which are recognized by governments to represent their country in the who program a single governmentally recognized center with a country with the clinical and scientific expertise to collect collate analyze and give advice on all information related to drug safety so national pharmacovigilance centers are available throughout the india many of them are available you can also report by calling them so you must have the basic idea how many national pharmacovigilance centers are available in india so everything so every country ha- must have a national pharmacovigilance center for monitoring of drugs and also collecting of information regarding uh, any uh, unintended reactions to collect the data so the next thing is pain flow so what is pain flow this is nothing but a software developed by umc for collection and analysis of data in relation to vaccinations in a pandemic situations so the next question is periodic safety re- update report psur it is a systematic review of the global safety data which became available to the manufacturer of a marketed drug during a specified time period produced in an internationally agreed format so this is a periodic safety report next what are otc medicines so this is the most common questions you may encounter during the your interview so you all know that over the counter medicines which are nothing but medicines which can be available or taken without any prescription from a medical shop or a pharmacy so these are some of the basic questions that you may be getting in your interview so the next thing is some of the definitions which are uh, combined in a single slide these include pharmacoepidemiology study of the use and effects of drugs in large populations epidemiology means studying in populations and uh, especially the effects of drugs pharmacology study of the uses effects and modes of action of drugs next phacomelia uh, i can't pronounce it properly characteristic deformity caused by exposure to a thalidomide in the womb next phytotherapy western style scientific treatment using plant extracts or material phyto means plant using phytochemicals plant chemicals the next thing is placebo an inactive substance given to a group being studied to compare results with the effects of an active drug so this is placebo thank you for watching guys see you in the next video i hope these uh, questions will help you during your interview process